Thank you very much for clicking on this video. While I was using GeForce Now with my DeX setup, either using Galaxy, my Galaxy Tab S6 or my Note 9 as a DeX device, I noticed one issue, and it is a quite a big one that would uh, will stop um, one of you guys um, using GeForce Now because you have your Note 9 as your DeX setup or your smartphone or your Galaxy Tab S6. And I decided to record this quick video and demonstrate this issue for you. So let's begin. Before jumping into and demonstrating this kind of the weird behavior between uh, two devices, GeForce Now acting differently on my Galaxy Tab S6 while in DeX or my Note 9 while in DeX. Um, and this issue basically is if I'm using my Note 9 as my DeX device within this next dock to lab dock, I can use keyboard and the mouse without any issue playing games. But if I'm trying to do the same thing with my Galaxy Tab S6, it's just I cannot use keyboard and mouse same time. I can use keyboard or I can use a mouse. I cannot use mouse and the keyboard. It is weird, so I decided to record this video to show it to you. So let's begin. Uh, currently, NextDoc 2 is being connected to Galaxy Tab S6. That's why I'm getting DeX. So um, let's launch GeForce Now. So opening GeForce Now. And obviously, we're going to use the Destiny 2 as, as a test. So right now, Destiny 2 is starting. And as you can see right now, all fine. The mouse pointer flying around. And obviously, the tablet is connected here via USB-C to USB-C cable. So let's wait for Destiny 2 to finish loading. Um, obviously, if I want to play a game, I can obviously use a controller, like, for example, Stadia Founders Edition controller, but I need to obviously connect wired wired connection, or I can use Xbox One controller via Bluetooth, and it's all fine. So right now, as you can see, mouse pointer, uh, I hope the camera can pick it up, is look looks like the Steam Big Picture mouse pointer, but keyboard does nothing. So I'm pressing left and right, nothing happening, and obviously game starting. Okay, fine, let's wait for game to start. Uh, let's, let's lower the volume. Let's check what's the tablet volume, that's fine. So game started uh, with the mouse pointer okay I click to start all fine I'm just waiting for the mouse pointer to appear again and I'll explain a bit further with this this kind of issue so let's wait for game to right come on come on come on come on loading loading okay come on load should I lower the brightness slightly? Right. So I'm in, in the main menu. I can pick up pick the character. So mouse pointer looks exactly like it should on the on the um, on the this game. So let's quickly open the this. Let's go quickly and go to the to the to the tower. So mouse pointer looks as it's supposed to be in the game, and it's all fine. One thing, as you can see, I have a taskbar. At the bottom showing up and I have this option here on the top right I'm not sure if you can see but this gives me a couple icons here Steam keyboard gamepad and the uh, extra menus so we're gonna wait for for the ship to land and you will see that I will be able to move the camera around with no problem but I'm not be able to um, move the character around because keyboard it just don't work so here we go as you can see mouse pointer works fine keyboard doesn't so I'm pressing WASD nothing happening space nothing happening but I can move the cable the camera around so the trick is right now I'm using these left and right arrows the options at the top changing so I can choose steam keyboard gamepad or extra options where I can quit the game or like a like a triangle bit facing left if I press enter on that that thing disappears and now keyboard works so keyboard is working and mouse pointer goes nuts because mouse pointer right now has been changed to what I usually you can see um, while in DeX the and Android desktop so right now as you can see I can't do nothing but if I press escape get the menu back now the camera is working but I can't move or jump so if I go back and remove this menu 
keyboard's working and the mouse doesn't. So I cannot use keyboard and mouse same time. I can pick on the one or the other. Obviously, if I plug in the controller via USB or get myself a Xbox One controller via Bluetooth, I will connect, everything will work fine. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna close that. We're gonna close the GeForce now. We're gonna unplug my Tab S6. Let's grab my Note 9. We're gonna connect Note 9 now. So, okay, let's wait for going. I, I When I'm changing devices, I usually just wait for next dock just to completely go into power saving mode or just shut down. Just, just, I don't know, just me. So turn it on, plug in my Note 9. By the way, Note 9 lately start behaving very weird with connecting to any of my USB-C hubs. Sometimes DeX starts, sometimes doesn't. And if it starts, sometimes laggy, it's a bit weird. So mouse pointer works, as you can see. Right, so let me quickly make sure no background apps, but we're gonna go, we're going back into a GeForce now. So right now my Note 9 is powering the DAX on this next dock to lab dock. Let's start Destiny 2 and it's loading. Okay, let's give a second or so for game to load. First thing, taskbar gone, mouse pointer working, keyboard working. So, okay, streaming quality is a bit eh, because my Note 9, I think, is connected to a lower, lower signal Wi-Fi here at my house. But anyway, keyboard's working. I can jump and I can move the camera without any problem. So, as you can see, camera moving, no problem. If I go escape, as you can see, mouse pointer is actually what's supposed to be in the game. And can I go? No, let's click escape again. And obviously... I can press space, WSD, working, I for inventory, working, escape, working. So it feels like a proper gaming PC, Windows machine, when I'm using my Note 9. But if I connect my Galaxy Tab S6 to next dock 2, I cannot use keyboard and the mouse. I need to pick one or the other. And this is happening across any of my USB-C hubs. I can even, let's say I'm going to use this. Microsoft Continuum, Continuum Display Dock Thingy. I'm, I'm not be able to do this uh, fully game on the DAX on the GeForce Now on my tablet. I can do only Note 9. It's a weird thing. And uh, what, what I do believe probably causing this is because Note 9 is running Android 10, where my Galaxy Tab S6 is currently running Android 9. So could be the difference between the Android versions. This could be a uh, one thing why uh, GeForce now behaving one way and the GeForce now behaving other way on Note 9. This could be a thing. I don't believe that GeForce now created the app that detects that there is a tablet connected and just disabling the keyboard and the mouse. Um, I haven't uh, tried to export APK from my Note 9 of GeForce Now and sideload on my tablet and see if that's any difference. But it's just, I don't know, I might try this in a, in a near future, but this is basically what I noticed about GeForce Now and how it's behaving differently between my two devices. So if you are, if you're planning to, planning to sign up for GeForce Now, this video hopefully helps you to make a decision because uh, you probably will get the full keyboard and mouse support on both devices or only on your phone just because it's Android 10. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below what else you want me to try and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.